Top prosecutor in West Texas is asking the state attorney general to weigh in on her push to hire graduate law students to work as assistant DAs. The El Paso district attorney wants to know whether this is legal. Many in the legal community here in El ABC 7 tell, or in El Paso telling ABC 7's Rachel Phillips they're concerned by the request. Now Rachel has been looking into the story all day and is live with what she's learned. Rachel. District Attorney Yvonne Rosales wrote a letter to Attorney General Ken Paxton asking for his opinion on the proposal. The letter was dated July 1st and was received by the AG just yesterday. Rosales took over as the District Attorney after winning the open seat in the 2020 Democratic primary. She's been officially in office since January. Rosales said in her letter the three graduate law students she wishes to hire are scheduled to take the Texas Bar exam in July. She would like them to start work in mid-August. Rosales states the candidates would have their supervised practice cards and would be working under an attorney. I reached out to the district attorney for an interview and the office gave me a statement instead. In that statement, the district attorney's office said there was a disagreement between the DA and the county attorney over the legality of hiring graduate students. Because of this, the district attorney reached out to the office of the attorney general for a legal opinion. I reached out to more than 10 local defense attorneys. Many didn't wish to comment on the record because they did not want to jeopardize their clients' cases. Two attorneys who used to work at the district attorney's office told me they didn't think this was a good idea. One said, quote, the fact that Ms. Rosales needs to hire unlicensed law students as prosecutors shows just how overwhelmed and understaffed the DA's office is right now. She simply has not been able to replace those employees because lawyers don't want to work for her and more are leaving. The other said, quote, I think they're hurting. I think she could be doing a little bit better as far as running the office internally. I think she's more worried about the public opinion instead of her staff. Now, both of those former DA office, office employees told me they've heard morale at the office is at an all-time low. Those former employees think morale will only get worse once jury trials resume. Keep in mind, this is the office that oversees the prosecution of murders and sexual assaults and other serious crimes in El Paso, including the mass shooting at the Silla Vista Walmart on August 3rd, 2019. Reporting live, Rachel Phillips, ABC7.